Hi everyone, my name is Alexander Yankowski and today we will talk about routing in Next.js. Our main goals for the session are to configure nested and dynamic routes and understand how named parameters match to those routes. Ok, let's start. So, we have already created a predefined project with the only index page here, which returns index as a string, and the single script to run every application in dev mode. Let's imagine that we are creating a store and in accordance to our business requirements we need to have several routes. First one is items, just to render a list of items. Next one items slash type, where type is dynamic parameter and we will render the type of our product. And the last one is items type manufacturer and the model of our product. So this route will render a detailed page about our product. Ok, let's do it. First, let's create an index page for our items and as we know Next.js uses file system as a routing, so we will just create index.js page inside items folder. Let's create our component here, items page, and we will return some list of items in our store. So, let it be first TVs and let's just copy it to laptops and mobile phones. Ok, this page is ready. And the next page in accordance to our plan is items type page, where type is already a dynamic parameter. To highlight this we need to create a page with the name in square brackets to show Next.js that we are gonna use dynamic route. To work with any routing parameters we need to use router object. And to create it, we import use router hook from next router, which goes out of the box with Next.js. Ok, let's create our component items type page, then create router object, and all dynamic parameters are stored in query object, which is stored in router. So let's take it from there. And please keep in mind that the name of the dynamic parameter is exactly the same as the page name we created in our file system. Ok, and finally let's render our component with an items type. Ok, this page is ready as well. Let's finally create our details page. It's a bit tricky here as we need to create a page with several dynamic parameters. Even some of them could be optional. To show our intention to Next.js we will use some kind of spread operator from JS and use square brackets as well in our page name. As we discussed earlier we need to import use router hook. Let's create our component. Ok, let's create router object and take params from router query. So we use params, keep in mind that the same as our page name and file system and this parameter is an array. Ok, and as we agreed that First element in our array will be type, the second will be manufacturer, and the third is the model. So let's render it this way. So we need to check that we really have first parameter in our array, and it will be the type. Ok, let's copy it for manufacturer and model. Ok, our page is done. But I need to mention that pages in Next.js without side effects are statically optimized by automatic static optimization and will be hydrated without their root parameters provided. So query will be an empty object. After hydration, Next.js will trigger an update to your application to provide the root parameters in the query object. So let's keep it in mind and update our code that params parameter could be undefined. Let's return now in this case. 
Okay, cool. That's done. Let's finally check our application. So we have items root, items type, and items details page. Let's run our application in dev mode and open localhost 3000. Okay, index page works. Let's check our items index page. Okay, we see the list of items. Let's next check our items type page. We will use TVs. Okay, it works as expected. Let's also check laptops. Okay, dynamic parameter works. Let's use Apple as our manufacturer. Okay, cool. You see here is another page already. And let's use MacBook Pro. Okay, cool. We need to see that if we add some additional parameters, they will be just ignored as we have params as array. And we render just first three items. Okay. Also, I need to mention that predefined routes take precedence over dynamic routes, like index page takes precedence over type dynamic route. And dynamic routes take precedence over catch-all routes, like one with spread operator in the name. So now we need, we could always avoid any kind of collisions in our application. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you and see you in the next video.